dear students we are starting with chapter 3 matrices it is the third chapter of second year matrices is the plural form of a matrix matrix is defined as a rectangular arrangement of numbers arranged in rows and columns it is the rectangular arrangement of rectangular arrangement of numbers elements etc numbers elements etc in rows and columns rows and columns rows means horizontal arrangement of elements rows means it is the horizontal arrangement and column which is the vertical arrangement horizontal arrangement is known as row and vertical arrangement of numbers is known as columns the numbers constituting a matrix are known as elements or members of the matrix elements or members of the matrix elements means the numbers of the matrix or the member of the matrix matrices are generally denoted by capital letters of english alphabet whereas elements are denoted by small letters matrices are matrices are generally generally represented by by capital letters capital letters whereas elements are denoted by small letters and elements by small letters small letters the elements are enclosed in elements are enclosed in enclosed in either parentheses parentheses is a curved bracket or square bracket either parentheses or square brackets parentheses or square brackets are used to represent the elements of a matrix matrices are introduced by a famous english mathematician james silverstone james silverstone in the 19th century in 1859 that is in the 19th century and matrices are developed by order of a order of a he is the man who developed matrices i am writing some matrices using all these concepts examples matrix order number of elements first matrix is a is equal to 2,3,1,5,4,6 this matrix has 2 rows and 3 columns horizontally it has 2 rows and vertically it has 3 columns so its order is 2 by 3 2 rows and 3 columns 
and the number of elements of this matrix can be obtained by 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. The matrix A has 6 elements. Let us take another example B is equal to 2, 4, minus 3. This matrix has 1 above and 3 columns. So it is a 1 by 3 matrix and it has 1 into 3 that is 3 elements. This matrix has 3 elements. Another example is C is equal to A, B, C, D. Matrix can also be represented by parentheses. So it is a 2 by 2 matrix. It has 2 rows and 2 columns. So it is a 2 by 2 matrix and it has 2 into 2 that is 4 elements. Let us take another example. D is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1, 0. This matrix has 3 rows and 3 columns. So it has 3 into 3, that is 9 elements. The order of the matrix means first write row number then write column number if a matrix has matrix has m rows m rows and n columns m rows and n columns its order b order b m into n we write m into n but we create as m by n m by n and the matrix has m elements the matrix has how many elements the matrix has m elements these are the concepts of a matrix and its order okay now let us discuss a question if a matrix has if a matrix has seven elements, elements, what are the possible orders it can have? What are the possible orders? Orders it can have. 7 is a prime number. So the factors of 7 are one and seven. One and seven. Therefore the possible orders of possible orders are One by seven and seven by one. We can construct two matrices if a matrix has seven elements. One into seven is seven. It has seven elements. Seven into one is also seven. Therefore, we can construct two matrices if a matrix has seven elements. Okay. Now, another question is if a matrix has 15 elements, what are the possible orders it can have? The factors of 15 are factors of 15 are 1 into 15, 15, 3 into 5, 15. Therefore, the possible orders are 1 by 15. Similarly, we can take a matrix of order 15 by 1. Now, 3 by 5 and uh, 5 
prime moment, these are the possible matrices. If the matrix has a three elements, we can construct four matrices. 1 by 15, 15 by 1, that means a matrix which contains only 1 row and 15 columns. 15 rows and 1 column, 3 rows and 5 columns, and 5 rows and 3 columns. Clear? Now, we are going to find the general form of a matrix. General form. Let A is equal to A and J, B and M by M matrix, where I is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc., M and J is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. N. A and J be a matrix. Elements are denoted by some letters. I J means uh, address of the matrix. I means uh, row number. J means column numbers. So the general form of a matrix A is equal to. I am writing the general form of the matrix A11. A one two etc. A one J in the first row a particular column element that is J general column elements etc. First row last thing, last element is N element. Similarly, A21, A22, A2J, etc., A2N, etc., 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 A I1, AI2, I means particular word. A general row, etc. A I J, etc. A I N, etc. etc. A last row is M two, first element M two, M J. A M N. This is the general form of the matrix. In the general form, we can find a matrix of any order. Suppose you have to find a 2 by 2 matrix. You have to take these elements. Two rows, two columns. If we have to take 2 by 3 matrix, 2 by 3, 2 rows and 3 columns. Take one element of that is 1, 3, 2, 3. So we get a 2 by 3 matrix. From the general term, we can find a matrix of any order, isn't it? And the particular element A, I, J is known as general element of the matrix. This element is known as general element. Of the matrix. General element of the matrix. Isn't it? Using this, a question will be asked for the examination. Let us discuss some questions. Using this general form. First question is. Construct a two by two matrix. 
is equal to a i j where a i j is equal to i plus 2 j the whole square i plus 2 j the whole square the condition is also the one condition of the elements of the matrix a here we have to construct a 2 by 2 matrix we have a vision of general form or we can easily find a 2 by 2 matrix a 2 by 2 matrix contains 2 rows and 2 columns just draw 2 horizontal lines and 2 vertical lines the point of intersection the point of intersection of the lines are the elements a11 a12 a21 a22 these are the elements in this way we can find the elements of the matrix which is now first find a11 put i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 so we get 9 2 plus 1 3 is equal to 9 now find a12 i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 the whole square is 25 now a to 1 i is equal to j is equal to 1 the whole square is equal to 16 and the last element a to 2 here i is equal to 2 j is equal to the whole square that is 36 therefore the matrix a is equal to find the matrix as as it is, that is A11, A12, 9, 25, 16, and uh, uh, 6. This is the matrix A, which is of order 2 by 2. So we construct a 2 by 2 matrix. Is it? Right? Another question is. Construct a 2 by 3 matrix Aij where Aij is equal to modulus of pi minus j modulus of pi minus j. Now we have to construct a 2 by 3 matrix which contains 2 rows and 3 columns. Two horizontal lines and uh, three vertical lines. And the elements are A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23. We can find the elements. A11 is modulus of 3 into 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 modulus of 2 is 2 a 1 2 3 into 1 minus 2 modulus of 1 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 a 1 3 3 into 1 minus 3 modulus of 0 is 0 a to 1, 3 into 2, minus 1, modulus of 5, z equal to 5, a to 2, 3 into 2, minus 2, that is 6 minus 2 is 4, modulus of 4 is uh, 4 itself, and a to 3, modulus of 3 into 2, minus 3, that is 6 minus 3 is 
Therefore, we can construct the matrix two by three matrix A is equal to two one zero five one four three. Is it? This way, we can find any matrix of any order. I by J. Yeah, I J is I divided by J. Greatest integer value of I by J. Greatest integer function we have studied in the first one class in relations and functions. K one one. One by one, that is greatest integer one, is equal to one itself. One by two, one by two is point five. Zero point five. Its greatest integer value is zero. Greatest integer zero. Is closer. One is open. Point five is here. So its greatest integer value is zero. A one three. Here one by three. One by three is zero point three. Its greatest integer value is also zero. Now we are going to find a to one. That is two by one. Two by one is greatest integer of two, which is two itself. Two is an integer value. It's an integer constant. A to two. Two by two. Two by two is greatest integer of one, which is one. And uh, a to three. That is two by three. Two by three is zero point six six etc. So or we can say that zero point seven. Its greatest integer value is also zero. Therefore, the matrix A can be written as D is a two by three matrix. One zero zero. Two, one, zero. This is the matrix. In this way, you can also construct a matrix of any order if a condition is given. Okay. Thus, we have studied what a matrix is. What is the order of a matrix, and how can we create or construct a matrix using its general form? Now we are going to study different types of matrices. First one is rectangular. A matrix is of the form M by M or N by M is known as a rectangular matrix. M specifies the row number and N represents the column. Example. A is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. It is a two by three matrix. It has two rows and the three columns, and it is in the form of a rectangle. Or it is a 
it is in a rectangular shape isn't it another example b is equal to 
types of matrices are known as lower triangular matrices. Do you follow the distinction between upper and lower triangular matrices? In upper triangular matrices, all elements below the principal diagonal are supposed. In lower triangular matrices, all elements above the principal diagonal are zeros. Now we are going to find another matrix. Row matrix. A matrix which has only one row is known as a row matrix and only one column is known as a column matrix. In row matrix, it has only one row but many columns. But in column matrix, it has only one column but many rows. Row matrix means has only one row. A matrix which has only one row is known as a row matrix. Example is A is equal to 5 is a 1 by 1 matrix. Another example B is equal to 2, 3. 1, only 1 row but 2 columns. Another matrix is 2, 5, 0. 1 row and 3 columns. These are the row matrices. Now next matrix is column matrix. Column matrix means which has only one column. A matrix which has <coughs> a matrix which has only one column is known as a column matrix. Examples are this is a row matrix as well as a column matrix. Another example B is equal to 3, 2. It has two rows and only one column. Another matrix is C 5, 2, 1. It has three rows and only one column. In types of matrices, we have studied what is a rectangular matrix. What is the square matrix? What is principal diagonal of matrix? What are the diagonal elements? What is a diagonal matrix? What is a scalar matrix? What is a identity matrix? What are upper and lower triangular matrices and row matrix and column matrix? Clear? The next portion is Equality of matrices. Equality of matrices. I told you that matrices is the same plural form of a matrix. Equality of matrices means if two matrices are of the same order and if their corresponding elements are equal, then we can say that the matrices are equal. So what is the equality of matrices? Equality of matrices means if two matrices, matrices are said to be equal, equal. They are of the same order, that is the condition, first condition. They are of the same order. And the second condition is their corresponding elements of their corresponding elements are equal. For example, 
इफ ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू टू थ्री वन फोर देन ए सी इक्वल टू टू बी सी इक्वल टू थ्री सी सी इक्वल टू वन एंड डी सी इक्वल टू फोर If base matrices are equal, then A is equal to B is equal to three, C is equal to one, and D is equal to four. Let us take another example. Another example is find A and B if A plus B to five A B. Is equal to six to five eight. Here, if these two matrices are equal, we have to find the values of A and B. Now we can compare the elements. A plus B is equal to six. From this, we can find. B is equal to six minus A, and AB is equal to eight. Now put the value of B here. A into six minus A is equal to eight. So six A minus A square minus eight is equal to zero. Or multiply by minus we have. A square minus six A plus eight is equal to zero. Multiply by minus one. Now it is a quadratic equation. Sum is minus six and product is eight. That is A minus four into A minus two is equal to zero. Here minus four plus minus two is equal to minus six minus four into minus two plus eight. Therefore. The value of a is equal to four, or a is equal to two. If a is equal to four, we can find b. If a is equal to four, then b is equal to six minus four, that is two. If a is equal to next value is two, then b is equal to six minus two, which is equal to four. Is it? This is the last portion of the first exercise, three point one. In three point one, we have covered all questions. Now you can do all questions in the exercise three point one. We have covered all the portions in.